guys, welcome back to another episode. This is episode 5 of our Making RPG series. We're going to continue with our item creation. Uh, I haven't changed the project, still in the same project. And uh, here are the scripts. We got, uh, today we're going to work on creating a basic, uh, create a weapon script. So we're going to go to uh, create, hit a C sharp script, and we're going to do create, uh, we'll call it, I guess, create new weapon. And this script is going to manually create, or not, not uh, manually, randomly create a weapon. Um, so right now it's not going. Actually, yeah, we're gonna have it receive model behavior because I'll probably attach it to a script so that we can, so I can show you guys that it's actually working. But basically, what we're gonna do is set up a private variable, and it's gonna be a base item, and it's gonna be our new weapon. And then we're going to create a um, a function, and we'll just say public public void uh, create weapon. And what this this function is going to handle is going to go step by step everything what we want to do. So like we need to assign a name to the weapon, uh, create a weapon description. Um, weapon ID, stats, uh, choose choose type of weapon. So if you remember in our uh, base weapon script, we have six different types. Uh, six different types of weapon can be. So we're gonna have to choose which one we want, and then uh, of course we gotta give it a spell effect ID. Is the last thing. So. Um, even though this isn't implemented yet, we can still mess with it. So spell effect ID. So for the first thing we're going to do is assign a name. Now, what we can do is just give it a random name. Um, actually, but first, before we do that, we need to create the new weapon. So what we'll do is new weapon, or need, we need to initialize it. So you do new, and you do new base item. Uh, excuse me, new base weapon. And so since new weapon... New weapon inherit, yeah, base weapon inherits from all these, so it should work fine. So what we're going to do is go into new weapon. Oh, excuse me, new weapon. And we're going to look for name. And we're going to get it a, uh, we're going to set it to W, or W for weapon, and then plus a random dot range value. So we'll say 1 from 100. So uh, random dot range goes from whatever the lowest value is to the maximum value minus one, I believe. So anyway, so what this will do is create when we create a new weapon, it's going to give it a random name of W and a number. So we that's just its name. You can actually add, you can create an array up here. You can go private string uh, array weapon names. Uh, new. You probably wouldn't want. You want you don't you want to use an array if you know the size uh, of the names you want, and then you could actually go in here and cr uh, create names for it. So you could say best or weapon. Uh, let's see, weapon of greatness, and then you could go in and actually assign it to that name instead of a random uh, letter and a number. So you know whatever whatever works for your um, game that you're working on but for me I'm just gonna do this random W and then item name for now and then we're gonna uh, for the random description we're just gonna do new weapon dot uh, description and I'm just gonna set it to a generic this is a new weapon and uh, we'll just leave it at that you can again you can do the same thing we did with the with or same idea with the names is you can create your own string uh, an array of strings that has a whole bunch of different descriptions and you can mix and match if you want. Uh, the, the ID, again that's just going to be a new weapon dot ID, oh, excuse me, item ID and we're just going to set that to a random dot range again 1 to 101 and that's just give it a random number for the ID, it doesn't matter. For stats, we're going to go in uh, item so we're, again, we're accessing our new weapon, and we're gonna say, um, what were they? Vitality. 
Oh, it seems we have a problem. Here's the issue. It's not a base item. It's actually a base weapon. There we go. That was an issue. So the reason why when you... So let me go back and uh, explain this real quick. So we're creating a weapon, so it, it is a base weapon, which inherits base item. So you can't, if you just create an item, you just can get an item name, description, ID. You actually have to create, uh, you actually have to say exactly what it is. So in this case, it's a weapon, so it's going to inherit all this stuff, plus whatever's in base stat, plus what's in base item. So that was just a mistake on my part. So it's a base item. We're going to go in here and we're going to look for vital, uh, no, stamina it was, stamina. And we'll just set it to random.range of 1 to 10. And then we'll go new weapon again. And we'll set endurance. And it's going to be the same thing. And then we'll go new weapon. I'm just going to go up here, actually, copy these two. Uh, I'm not I'm trying to hold up this I'm holding shift and uh, shift and control right now using the arrows to uh, get the uh, to highlight everything I want and control C control V to paste I'm gonna change this to intellect and then strength so this is gonna assign a random value to our strength and stamina endurance intellect and strength for this weapon and then uh, we also need to choose a type so I'm actually going to go down here, and this is something you can do too. Is I'm going to create a private function. It's going to be void choose, and we're going to call it say choose weapon type. And in here, we're just going to have it randomly pick one of the six weapon types. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to create a random a temp variable. I'm going to call it random temp, and that's going to be equal to random dot range of one through six. So basically, it's going to generate a random number one through six, and then we're going to analyze it. We're going to, with if statement. So we're going to go if random temp is equal to one, then we're going to say our new weapon type. Uh, our new weapon type dot type weapon type is going to be equal to weapon types. Weapon types. Uh, we'll say sword. I think sword is the first one. Let's go look. Yep, sword, staff, dagger, bow, shield, pull arm. So what we're going to do is going to create if statements for each six, for each of the six uh, possible weapon types it can be. So we'll do else if. I'm actually going to go up here and copy this. If I can grab it all. Huh. Uh, okay. So instead of random temp being one, this time it's going to be we're going to say it's equal to two, and we'll change it to staff. And I'm going to copy, copy that, paste it. So we went six times. So again, we're going to change this instead of two, it's going to be three, and we're going to do I guess dagger. We'll change this one to four, and we'll change it to bow. Five. Here we go, five. Uh, what's in the shield? And I think we have one more. Uh, six. I don't remember all of our types. What do we have? I want my pole arm. Here we go. So this is going to, so right away, it's gonna. we're going to call this function. So choose the type of weapon. We're just going to say choose weapon type. And it's going to go down in this function, and it's going to create a random variable. And it's going to... Um, figure out what that random variable is and then set the type of weapon it is and then for weapon uh, spell effect ID since it it's not really implemented yet we're gonna do uh, spell effect ID and just set it ram dot range we'll set it to uh, 1 through 101 okay so this is extremely extremely bare bones way to create a uh, random weapon and uh, so we're randomly creating, randomly choosing the type of weapon it's going to be. We're choosing its randomly its stats, its range, its name, and we have a very generic description. Now the idea is that you guys can go on, and I can, if you guys need help, I can make another video and show you more in depth, kind of how to add the name, add more specific names, or you know when we figure out our uh, stat formulas, we can come in and actually choose. Uh, 
how to generate these stats better, maybe add like a character level modifier to it. So if the character is, you know, level 10, maybe it still generates 1 through 10, but it multiplies it by uh, 2 this time, so it's even higher. But anyways, that can be for another um, another episode. What I'm going to do now is actually come up here, and just to show you guys that it's working, I want to do uh, a void start function. And at the start of this program, because I'm, I'm going to attach this to the camera and the game so you can see it work, I'm going to do create weapon. And then I'm going to debug dot log. This so it, it prints to the uh, screen. We're going to do new weapon dot name. And I'm going to come up here and copy paste this a few times. I'm just going to print out a few things. Okay, so uh, we got the item name. We'll look up description. Uh, what else is interesting? We'll do ID. Let's see if our weapon type worked. This is going to be too string because otherwise it wouldn't print correctly. Oh, ID. Excuse me. Again, with this, it needs to be too string because it's a uh, it's an integer. It's not a string. Uh, what else can we do? We'll do stamina. Two string again, and we'll do uh, let's do it. let's do endurance. Man, I'm screwing up. Okay, so we have basically I'm going to attach a script in Unity. I hit Control S to save. We're going to go back to Unity. I'm going to drag this create a weapon script. Oh, I didn't drive. It does. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Here we go. I'm going to press play, and it should create a new weapon for us. I'm going to pause it, and look. Okay, here we go. So here's the weapon we just created. Uh, so we created, it's a weapon. It, the name is W46. This is a new weapon. Uh, what was the, this is the ID so it's 61 it chose to be a bow and it has a vitality or stamina of 4 and an endurance of 9 so we're going to hit clear and what we're going to do is we're going to do it again pause so we, look we created a dagger this time it's a new weapon has an ID of 43 a stamina of 9 and so if you can see this is act, this is working wonderfully so hit play again it's new weapon 42 new weapon it's a sword this time and this is how we're going to we're going to be using this type of script uh throughout most of the uh RPG tutorials I'm doing just cuz it's easy and it really creates ton of random weapons that you can have you can uh or well, random items not just weapons but uh Anyways, stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to uh, go through and how to create base equipment. It's going to be kind of the same idea. Uh, maybe I can add more to it. If you guys have questions, ask them. Leave them in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe if you like my videos or leave comments and tips. Uh, anyways, I look forward to you guys. I look forward to putting out the next episode, uh, hopefully in the next day or two. All right, see you soon.